welcome to lecture online and today we are beginning a new series on logarithms and uh, we're going to define uh, what logarithms are uh, we're going to also talk about the laws of logarithms we are going to also do the applications of logarithms uh, we are going to have a few videos uh, to explain more about logarithms so in this video what we are going to do is to uh, look at the laws of logarithms and how we can apply them in uh, our real life so all these that are highlighted here are laws of logarithms and of course in each law we are going to do an example to explain how we can apply each law in logarithm so let's start off so what are logarithms logarithms are powers to which we must raise a number for us to get a given result for instance if you have a number a its logarithm is going to be this power if you raise a to this power you must get a result for instance you can get maybe b the, uh, as long as you follow the laws of logarithm therefore we conclude that uh, a logarithm, a power to which you must raise a number for you to get a given result. Now, we can now talk about the laws of logarithms. We have so many of them, but in this video, we're going to highlight the main ones, and in the preceding videos, maybe we might do other laws of logarithms. So let's start with the first law. Now, we have uh, three main laws. The first one we're going to deal with the product of numbers. Uh, division of numbers and power of numbers so in the first uh, uh, law when we talk about product if you have log of a b the log of a b now this is the log of a multiplied by b and if you have the log of a multiplied by b then the result must be log log of a plus log of b in the second law on division, if you have two numbers that have been divided, for example, you have log of a divided by b, the result of the same is going to be log of a minus log of b. Log of a minus log of b. Now, in that case, where we have powers of logarithms, if you're given log of a power n, the result of this is going to be n log of a. So for all these cases, the three cases, I want us to do an example for each one of them so that we can understand how they work out. So for the first law, we have uh, two numbers, log of uh, 6 multiplied by 2. And according to this law, as you can see, uh, we are going to have um, a product. Uh, for a product, then the result of this is going to be log of 6 plus log of 2. Log 6 plus log 2. So in the second case, where we have division, if you have log of 6 divided by 2, then the result is going to be easy. That's going to be log of 6 minus log of 2. And in that case, when we have powers, you notice that log of a, our n, is going to be equal to n log a. And for this example, the result is going to be, we have the, we multiply the power by the log 6 log 2. So those are the main, uh, the main uh, laws of logarithms that we have in mathematics. And now we have other laws. For example, we have a uh, logarithm notation. So let's discuss about logarithm notations. If you have a, a number a power n equals to c, then in logarithm notation, that number is going to be written as log to base n multiplied by c should be equal to a. So n in this case becomes a base. Uh, we multiply by c, we should get the result as a. As an example, we have six power six power two is equal to that uh, six. And we are supposed to write, to write that in logarithm notation, just the way we did it here. 
So we're going to notice that uh, log to base 2 of 36 should be equal to 6. That way. Now also, we have other laws, like if you have log of a to base a is equal to 1. So if you have um, if you have the a number, you multiply by a number, the same number as the base, and the result is going to be exactly one. We have an example here. Log of uh, two to base two, the result is going to be uh, one. The result must be one. So if you have log of ten to base ten, then uh, that one has to be one. Also, log of one to base ten must be equal to zero. So that is a law that we can use also in the logarithms. But if you have log of 1 to base 10, the result is 0. Also, we have other logarithmic uh, uh, laws like this one. If you have log to base a square, the result is going to be equal to its inverse. So we multiply the inverse of this uh, power by the logarithm itself. Log of b to base a squared, we take this power and multiply it by the logarithm as the inverse. So in this case, we're going to have uh, a half because the inverse of 2 is a half. So a half multiplied by log b. A half multiplied by log b. That's how we check that uh, log. And, this, and the result of that is going to be uh, equal to... So we take the... Inverse of 3, which is 1 over 3, and we multiply that by the logarithm, which is log, log uh, to base 2 of 6. Log to base 2 of 6. That is easy. So we are still having one log here. So if we have log to base log of b to base a, that can be written as 1 over the log of um, b multiplied by a. So you will notice that these two numbers here interchange, but now we have the reciprocal of this number. And as an example, if we have log of 6 to base 2, then that is going to be 1 over log 2 to base 6. So these two numbers interchange. And that's why uh, we have this law of logarithm. So that is it about the laws of logarithm. So in summary, today we have introduced logarithms and we have also discussed about the laws of logarithms. We have three main uh, laws of logarithms, that is the product, we have uh, division and laws that involve powers. We also have other laws that we can use during our calculations for logarithms and also uh, we have done each illustration or each example for all the laws of logarithms. So in the preceding videos, what we are going to do is more uh, examples involving uh, all these laws of logarithm. So if you want to understand more about this, follow us in our preceding videos. Thank you.